Hello, welcome to All Levels Kickboxing Class 7 the series. Okay, so in this class, we're going to do a warm-up, then we're going to do strikes on spot, we're going to do, in our kicks portion, we're going to learn how to do switch round kick, and then to finish up class, it's going to be a speed reaction drill. Okay, so let's start the class. Feet together, arms out. Do my best. And let's do our uh, breath work first, so just go down to our knees. I'm going to move a little forward. Okay, put your hands on your on your knees, uh, nice and relaxed. Deep breathing, breathe deep into your stomach, deep into your core. Your stomach should expand, and when you breathe out, your stomach should be compressed and your uh, stomach should flatten. Okay, let's do 10 big breaths and go as deep as you can. Into your nose. And out through your mouth. Push through your throat. This is for you, and no one else. Sitting nice and tall. Okay, starting up, let's do, um, on spot, let's do our, okay, let's go into our mo uh, movements, raise your arms up, and have bends in your arms, and do ro nice uh, rotations here, pushing your center forward, pushing your feet into the ground, having, pretending like a string is here, and pulling you to the ceiling, pulling to the sky, deep breathing here, while you do that, Okay, let's go um, reach the sky as straight as you can, lock your arms, rotations here, same concept, pushing down with your feet. Your feet are pushing down and your arms, upper body, are reaching up. Okay, now let's do um, hands to the ground, rotating here, both ways. Okay, let's go one leg back. Uh, so if you go right leg back, right arm out, reach as far as you can. Other hand, let's put it by your the ball by your on your hinge point. So that's the balls of your hips. Rotations here, ro reaching as far as you can. Other side. So it looks like this. Okay, very good. Continuing on with the movements and then moving on towards stretching. Neck rotations. Okay, now let's do like a, like this, but I want you to look up to behind your... I should just look up straight over your shoulder. Twist, other side, twist, okay, and let's go, um, now let's do our hips, Okay, and knees, rotating here, other way, 
Okay, hands up. Now hinge at the, uh, at the balls here, where your belt, if you're wearing like a gi, your belt would be tied there. Okay, and that was kind of weird. <laughs> Again, hinging, feeling the stretch all up your, the back of your thighs, or sorry, in your hands and your, in the back of your thighs, yeah. Okay, coming up. Okay, let's go feet together. Okay, let's go feet apart now. Splits. Side splits. Okay, looking forward and using your arms to support your weight. Always try to push yourself a little deeper every episode. By the end of the series, you're going to be uh, very well, well versed in defending, in defending yourself. Definitely. Okay, and toes to the sky. Pushing your rut, your your rear in. And going onto your back. I'm oh, sorry, sitting onto your rear. Oh, it's a little bit wet there. So <laughs> good thing I'll put my hands there first. Okay, and put your hands behind you and push your center forward. Use your arm, lock your elbows. Point perfectly your toes to the sky. Your center is going forward. Okay, reaching up. Nice and tall and reaching forward in front of you. Elbows touch the, elbows touch the floor. Okay, and hammering your thighs. Other side. Okay, standing up. Okay, now let's do the vertical splits. So if you don't have a fat, I'm gonna use a fence. Essentially, what you're doing, you're sticking your leg over the fence and you're trying to stand nice and tall. Activate your glutes to push, lock your leg. Lock your leg here. And this should be knees, uh, no bend, and pointed toes, pointing this way. And just uh, toes for this one, pointed up as well. Okay, and then you're just gonna like stretch, see how far you can go. Let's just do about like 10 seconds of that. Okay, and go. 10, 9, Two, one, switch. Ten, deep breathing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Okay, good work. Okay, now to the warm-up section of the class. Okay, okay. Okay, now to the warm-up part of the class. So, on spot, just jumping on spot. With your hands to your chin. Following along. Breathing in deep. Okay, feet apart, feet together. On the balls of your toes. This is good for training up your the balls of your feet so you can kick uh, strong for your front front kicks. Okay, now let's go uh, forward and back. Crisscross, one one behind, one in front. Okay, now high knees, hitting your hands, belt height, standing nice and tall, keep breathing. Okay, now uh, squats. Let's do uh, 20 squats. Two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good work. Quick stretch here. Grab your heel, pull to your butt, other side. Uh, let's grab now a wall. This is called a pen pendulum swing. So essentially you put, you grab your leg, you stick your, your leg up straight, and then you swing it. You just swing it back and forth as high as you can. Do about like 10 seconds of that. Try to stand as close as you can to the wall. Other leg. Okay. Okay, now calf raises. Try not to put, touch your heels to the ground. You're just like lifting up. On tip, you're going on your tippy toes as high as you can and just do 10 of those, control. Seven, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now actually, let's do bounces now. Let's do bouncing here. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now on spot, I want you just to, be, to do jab crosses. Okay, and go for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time. Well done. Okay, actually, quickly grab water while I explain this one. Okay, so I'm gonna place three cones on the ground. Oops. Make it like one step at each uh, forward in each side of the room, which you should have at least that amount of space for these classes. Okay, so in our fighting stance, which is not a lot to ask for, I think. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start from the back of the class. You're gonna quickly run. Or you're, sorry, you're not gonna quickly run. You're gonna quickly, in your fighting stance, move over and in your stance and do combo one, jab, cross. And switch to the other side, other side. And then return back to your spot. Okay, let's see. Actually, I want you to finish in a knee. So you're gonna go straight down and make sure that you're you're sitting tall, not like this. So I, I, that's a, it's a pet peeve of mine when I see students like that. I always have to tell them, hey, straighten up. So nice and straight, but in. Um, so once you finish, that's the finishing position. Okay, so let's do a practice round. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay. Well done, and stand up. Okay, uh, I think you guys already know what's gonna happen. Let's do a race now. Okay, so you guys are gonna verse me. Go into your fighting stance. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, okay, so let's do it again. Okay, fighting stance. Three, two, one, go. Hey, well done. Okay, uh, now uh, I want you to reorganize the cones. I want you to face them all in a row now on one side of the room. So it's gonna be one, two, 
three. And we're going to do the side step for this one now. So in your fighting stance, your right leg is back. We're going to step to the right. You're going to go right leg up, step, push off the left. Okay, so again, it looks like this. Okay, so we're going to do our front kick now. So fighting stance. Cha! Well, that was a little weak. Let's do it again. Cha! Okay, so from our fighting stance, you're going to step, front kick, down. Try to keep your hands up, knee, belt tight, and as it drives forward, you thrust your hips into that for the kick. And try to keep that foot flat. Okay, let's do a practice round now. So we're standing at the front here, and it'll be hard for you guys to see everything here for me. Let's move it down a little bit. So you guys can see it a little bit. Okay, don't cheat. Make, your, make sure you have your cones are one nice step um, apart, not too close. Okay, let's do a practice round. Okay, fighting stance. So you're gonna be not in front, you're gonna be right beside the first cone. Fighting stance, and go. Step, oh, oh this front kick, whoops. And step, 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 kick, and finish. Okay, now let's do the race. Okay, let's start again, reset your starting position. Calm stance, jump. And on, on uh, go. You ready? Are you ready? Okay, and three, two, one. And finish. Okay, you beat me, but you cheated, okay? I know you were, you were sloppy, you're being a little lazy on the technique. I want perfect technique now. So you're gonna go really focus on making sure that kick is as hard as you can. But like imagine you have to floor the opponent with that one kick. Okay, let's start again. All right, let's see if you can do that again, tough guy. Calm stance. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Good work. Okay, grab water. All right, guys. Um, this one, I know some of you guys are probably going to be rolling your eyes, but... I think it's important. Uh, I teach this one, this chat to uh, the ch youth and children. Uh, so, um, of course, guys, we know that, like, is failing a good thing or a bad thing? So if you're an adult, you probably heard the trope already a million times that failing is good. But as long as you actually learn something from the experience and then use that to grow. Um, someone said, I think, uh, they said there's no, there's only winning and there's only learning. So. Uh, Either way, you're a winner, right? And um, remember that all the winners in the world, all the champions, they had to lose a lot and humble themselves to get to that level. So go. I recommend you guys go out there and try something, chase your dreams and fail and lose and and get better. Okay, so, uh, and, and and never give up. And actually, even for your push-ups, like example, um, for, for, little, for kids, right? I tell them if they want to do example, like a uh, one-arm push-up, like that. Let's do a couple more. Now the secret is to, to uh, put your legs apart and put your arm more in the center. But now if you're going to train it, you have to get good at your normal push-ups. An example, I tell if a kid say they're new at push-ups and they're going to go like this and they're going to go halfway, they're not going to go full. Well, I mean, you know what I mean, right? I think pulsing halfway, that's good. But if they're, you're just gonna do like these small ones, then you're cheating, you're only cheating yourself. And if you can't even do a full one, I say go all the way down, try your best to push, fail, because that is always a better option than cheating yourself in your exercises and training. Okay, so let's continue with the class. Um, strikes on spot. Okay, so we're gonna go in our fighting stance. And of course, always in our fighting stance, our hands are up, shoulders are relaxed, right leg is back. And you're, you remember, in, or in orthodox stance, which is the recommended stance to start uh, training martial arts, 
your left arm is forward. The left arm is closer to the opponent, so you're using that as a tool, essentially as a measuring tool, to when you hit the opponent, then you know that you can do another attack. Now, um, the strikes on spot. So we're gonna do these strikes you wouldn't normally do in a fight. You would stick to your more um, safer techniques, like your jab crosses and hooks and uppercuts, right? But um, we're gonna train them up just so that you get stronger and your body gets used to a new movement. So we're gonna do um, palm strikes, <clears throat> which actually the mechanics are really good to know for actually punching. Ham hammer fists, and the kids love this one. Actually, you can train that one to be super powerful. At this, the largest school I was training, uh, teaching at in the city next to me, um, some of those kids had the really powerful hammer fists, and they could smash through boards. Actually, some of them had better hammer fists than me, and then they were uh, smaller than me. But it's just something that I don't train, right? So remember that you're never too old to, to start training. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> let's do our palm strikes first. Actually, we're going to do one more strike after. It's going to be called... Oh, yeah, that one I'll get to later. Okay, so we're going to go right leg back. And I want you to stand in a more longer stance with your feet flat to the ground. Essentially, you're going to be reaching forward like you're pushing someone. Your arm is locked. And your other hand is under your armpit. This is called point of origin where your punch starts. So it's a palm strike, so your hand is open. You can curl your, your hands, your fingers... Uh, just so you don't damage your hands. But if you have to in an emergency for uh, women, this is actually really good. It's really strong, really basic. You could break someone's nose with it uh, if you hit strike hard enough. So I want you just to, essentially it's the same mechanic I showed you as the punching, the re the, the, re the obverse and the reverse punch. Uh, essentially, it's the same mechanic, except you're using your, op your hands open to push. And remember, it's like you're holding a rope. When one pulls, the other one pushes. And when one, this one pulls, this one pushes. And there's no rotation because your hand's just going straight. Aim for the person's uh, chin or nose. Preferably the face, actually. Okay, let's do 10 of these and uh, go. You can choose whatever leg you want to use behind your butt, behind you. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, return. Well done. Okay, now hammer fist is exactly like it sounds. So it's like you're taking a hammer, and you're swinging it down to hammer some nail sticking up. What do they say in Japan? The hammer that, sorry, the, the nail that sticks upright gets hammered. So, in other words, don't don't try to stand out. Try to blend in. Well, that's what they believe in there. North, North American culture is, little, is pretty opposite, but anyway, so um, so from here, fighting stance. Just going to go into a regular fighting stance, and you're gonna lift your. I guess you could do. Let's just do lead and and back. So your right, uh, left hand is forward. Essentially, for uh, demonstration purposes, I'm going to do the back one. Sorry, make your hands nice and tight like I taught you in the other classes. Essentially, you lift up your fist as above your head, and you drop it, and you aim to strike with the bottom of the hand here, or the bottom of the fist here. Now, I have my hand here on my, on my chin to protect myself, and I drop my weight to make it stronger. If someone looks up when you, you're doing that, you could cause massive uh, huge damage to the face. Okay, so let's do um, 10 on each hand. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Try to reach forward. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. It's like a karate chop. Okay, so now uh, the next punch. So this one, I call them, I don't know what the name is, I just call them vertical punches. So the punch looks like this. 
So your thumb is up, and you put it away. So essentially, there's no rotation. You're just kind of essentially um, pushing straight forward. Uh, again, roll your fist nice and tight, and just essentially just pushing forward. Okay, so let's do let's do this one in a nice stronger stance, nice deeper stance for for uh, uh, for a stable base. And let's do uh, right left hand forward, right hand starting at the belt. Let's do uh, we're gonna go uh, right first, lead second. That's gonna be one. Okay, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Can we go this way? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and return. Okay, well done. Go get some water. Down like this. Try to have your heat, your feet flat. Your heat flat. Your heat, heat. <laughs> Heat hat. Okay, so sorry. Okay, so let's go just touch the ground here. Put, use your elbows to push your knees apart as you loosen up your, you stretch out your, your upper thigh and hip area. Okay, so let's. Um, we're gonna go over uh, Muay, the Muay Thai uh, switch round kick. This is like a very common kick that's used uh, very frequently in Muay Thai kickboxing. And essentially, I, I, I stress that in uh, Muay Thai, their stance is a very small. It's very small, it's very square. And they're like essentially like a tank marching forward. They're like a brick wall, like a mountain. And uh, essentially, um, they're using their just raw power to push forward, right? And uh, really respect that sport. And um, actually, Kyokushin Karate is just as powerful. Um, just They're just different, right? And different philosophies but uh, anyway so what I want you to do is you're gonna put your right leg forward and you're gonna try to keep a small stance nice and uh, square and tight and you're gonna go shoulder width apart so say you're gonna just do a small step so you're gonna switch your feet it's just gonna be a small switch so essentially I'll uh, try not to cross that much maybe so you're just gonna step like that and you're gonna have uh, whenever you do um, these kicks essentially you're pushing hard off the off the floor with your planted leg to help you to help propel your body into that kick but also I want you to um, see what else here uh, oh yeah and when you turn when you pivot your foot you're opening your hips up to to follow through with that kick so if I was gonna do say a normal round kick my lead foot uh, my planted foot is gonna um, pivot as I'm kicking so now um, you're gonna have like a shortcut because you've essentially switched into that position already. Um, because this kick is slower, because you have to switch into it, the switching part is the part that kills time. But if you could uh, train yourself to get fast in the switch, then the kick will come naturally. Let's do that one again. Okay, and let's do the switch together now. So uh, right leg is back. You need to do small switch and kick, land, and re-square your stance. Okay, let's do it from the. I'll do it from this side now. In your stance, switch and then aim belt height. Let's do that one again. Do that like a few times on the spot. Do like five, between five to ten on your uh, in spot. Same leg. Just practice this side first. We're actually we're only practicing this stance, this side today. And go.
So it's like essentially like you're, you're, you are doing a, a, re a round kick from the rear leg. So essentially just train yourself to do a good job from this position uh, with the left leg behind you, right? And then it'd be easier. But remember to make that step nice and small. Okay, uh, let's see here now. Okay guys, so now let's do a little drill. So um, you're gonna be in your fighting stance with your right leg back, and you're just gonna essentially be looking for openings on me. I'm gonna be uh, having a step back. I guess I could use a marker here. That's sign sig sig signifying that I'm s safe here, you can't reach me. But if I step forward, then you're able to get to me. Now, if I step forward and I cover myself here, um, actually, if I step forward and I cover myself here in the bottom, uh, essentially, you can't hit me here. So you can only do jab cross to the head. Um, but if I step forward and I'm covering here, um, my body's open. So I want you to do a front teep that we learned from the first, from last class. So again, knee up, your, your uh, back leg, your rear leg is solid and locked and it's helping you balance nice and tall, chin down, knee up, push down. And your head kind of pushes back to build, generate power for that teep. You're essentially pushing the opponent away, but essentially try to make it so that you can hurt the opponent with that kick. I know uh, my opponents, they feel my teep. Okay, so now, if I come in forward, and I'm uh, hands up, you have to quickly teep um, before I get away, okay? Now, um, here's the tricky part. Uh, if I throw my round kick, I'm gonna be just jumping in and stepping in for a round kick, a low round kick to your leg that's in front. I want you to, you're gonna switch your, your stance, and now that you switch that leg, just miss, uh, the kick has just missed it. Okay, so uh, say the kick, uh, yeah, yeah. And for this one, make sure you switch, uh, put that leg uh, fast behind you. Okay, so you're gonna switch and kick and aim for my opening, which has just been created. Which since if I, uh, if you're kicking, if you're in this stance here and, um, and I just kick like this, then I'm opening up this side so essentially, you're going to target the mid opening here. Okay, so are you ready? Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's start. Hang on. Let's start. Enough talk. Let's do it. Well done, well done. Okay, uh, go get water. Deep breathing. Keep breathing, walk around while you breathe. Don't, if you need to walk around, just walk around, but don't stay still. Okay. Okay guys, so um, now for this uh, next part portion of the class, I'm gonna teach you how to defend against um, a Muay Thai round kick. So a Muay Thai round kick is really uh, strong and heavy. Um, I'm still working on to get mine as strong as I want it to be. Like I have my own personal martial arts goals uh, as we all do. And 
um, essentially in Thailand, if you threw like a normal one arm block, if you were trained here, um, you would probably break your arm. I've seen it happen. Uh, I've seen people uh, have their arms split in two pieces. I've seen their uh, uh, ligaments torn in the shoulder. So essentially when the kick is coming, um, if it's coming for the lower leg, I, I showed you already in the episode, I believe it was um, episode one even, class one, uh, the, the check. So essentially you lift up your, your leg, the kick's being targeted to your leg. Um, essentially you, you pull it out, you point out your, your shin, your bone, and you point it to the opponent. And if when their kick is coming, um, they're gonna, you're, there's gonna be a collision, and it's gonna deter the opponent from throwing more kicks. Because essentially, you do, you do actually damage them more than they damage you if you're uh, faster with that check and it's nice and strong. Now, this leg should be push, pushing hard, and you should be actually pushing forward with this uh, f uh, foot and leg, like pushing forward. Also. Um, up here and on your knee is very thick bone or much thicker than the lower so um, just try to throw that out there and hopefully um, the opponent will hurt their leg on that okay so now if, if, if the ground kick is coming for your body or your head um, head I mean you could do these type covers but we're just gonna stick to um, if they're coming to hit you in the body so the kicks coming to your body you're gonna essentially use two of your arms, and it's like you're doing an inner forearm block. Um, I trained you guys up to do individual ones, but now we're gonna do like a double forearm block push. So essentially, you turn your body, you don't have to turn your whole body, uh, your legs, you just turn your upper body, and you essentially push hard. Other side, this side's a little easier. You're in your stance, hands are up, kick is coming. You just like a little push. Okay, all right. So let's do that over in spot. Uh, reviewing those movements together. Right leg back. And let's do uh, let's do the double forearm block. One, two. Let's do two more. One, two. Again. One, two. Okay. Now let's do the checks. Three checks each leg. One, two. Three, other side. One, nice and controlled. Two, three. Okay, now let's do three fast each side. Go. Okay, let's do one, two now. Yeah, it should be like that. Okay, uh, now let's do a little game. Okay, so a uh, last exercise of the class. Okay, so I'm gonna go in my fighting stance. You do too. We're gonna be standing right close in front of each other. I'm gonna throw my round kicks to your body. Throw two types of uh, round kicks, high and low. So I'm gonna either try to kick your leg, or your head. Or actually, no. Or your uh, upper body. Okay, so now, um, as we start the drill, I'm going to throw those kicks. You're going to have to try to block and re uh, react to the right uh, movement. Okay, are you ready? Will you get hit? Let's do it. All right, let's go. Let's do level one. Three, two, one. Nice and controlled. I guess I'll do it lower to exaggerate it.
Okay, well done. Okay, let's do uh, last run, best run. Even faster now. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Hey, good job. Excellent work. Okay, grab water now. Keep breathing nice and deep. Yeah, I'll do a call tomorrow. Okay. Okay, guys, let's cool down now to finish class. You guys did awesome. Excellent work. Okay, sitting crisscross. <clears throat> okay, so again, don't empty your mind. Focusing on, uh, okay, and again, don't foc don't, uh, okay, and again, don't empty your mind. Focus on, uh, review the class in your mind, or focus on something you're learning outside of martial arts, and Nice and deep breathing, as deep as you can. Nice and controlled, slow, go. Okay, well done guys, you're getting stronger. Um, I'm very happy that you're going through the class and you're going in order through one to, to 10. Um, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can check me out on Instagram at uh, K-E-V-E-N uh, Melendez15. And feet together, arms out. I did my best. <laughs>